hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a thanksgiving church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started now go to your file select new then i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 pieces then leave your resolution at 300 and you click on create then the first thing now i'm going to copy the color code i'm going to use ctrl plus c to copy then go to your solid color ctrl plus v to paste then go to your resource file then import this image then scale it out it's okay like this then go to your blending mode and select screen then go to your filter go to blur gaussian blur then and make use of this 1.7 click ok Then the next thing, I'm going to make use of this background here. Then you drag it to import it. Then you bring it down, scale it up a little, it's okay. Then go to your filter, select blur, Gaussian blur. Then this one, make it 7.2, then click OK. Apply your layer mask select your brush then then you brush the top here it's okay now go to your blending mode and change it to luminosity then go back to your resource file and i'm going to import this one reduce the size then you drag it up over here now apply your layer mask select your brush and i'm going to clean off this area then import this image Reduce the size. Then change the blending mode to screen. Then come over to this image and change the blending mode to multiply. Then go back on this one. Apply your layer mask. Select your brush. And I'm going to clean off this area. So here is the outcome of it. All right, now I'm going to select these ones and i will group it together ctrl plus g to group so then the next thing i'm going to import this one over here then reduce the size It's okay then import this 
harvest reduce the size then go back and I'm going to import this one reduce the size then also import this one then I'm going to flip it horizontal then drag this one below this one So here is the outcome and I'm going to reduce this one something like this then highlight it I mean select it and I'm going to group it So after this now, then I'm going to import your church logo, then reduce the size and, and position it somewhere around here. Then copy the church name, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Then I'm going to use the fonts Montserrat. Then make use of semi bold. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to break the text like this and then change the alignment to, to right. Then reduce the font size. Then I'll drag it up and position it around here. Then over here, I'm going to alight this one and change the font color to red. Then why this one, I'm going to alight it and make use of the font color from this. Then something like this. Okay, now go back to your test document and I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool again. And over here, then change the alignment to left. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the font so this font here mogra then increase the font size and now we position it around here then change the font color to red 
and I'm going to apply a drop shadow then I will increase the distance to 10% and the spread to 8% then the size I'm going to reduce it to 8% then click OK now I'm going to duplicate this one Control plus J to duplicate then drag it down then select your test to highlight it go to your test document and I'm going to copy this one then Control plus V to paste Then I will change the font color to this color here. And over here, I'm going to break this one. Then close the space to 18%. And I'm going to change the font to cage. Then close the space. Fifty percent. Now I'm going to increase the font size. Something like this. Then use your arrow key then to move it up. All right then you can also close the space one more time it's okay now it's 34 percent because we increase the size of the font then i'm going to duplicate this one Control plus j to duplicate and drag it above this one then bring it down select your test tool highlight it then go to your test document and i'm going to copy this one then Control plus v to paste and i will change the font to england signature increase the font size not that much because I'm going to position it around here. Then go to your drop shadow and I will adjust the distance and the spread. So make use of this setting over here, then click OK. Then you will have something like this. Now I'm going to create a rent angle. And I'm going to make use of this color. And over here, I'm going to copy the dates. Then duplicate this one, Control plus J, drag it up and bring this one down. Then select your test to highlight it. Control plus V to paste. Then change the font to the font color to black and uh, right click to remove the layer style. Then select this one, go to your resource file, and I'm going to import this icon. Then you reduce the size. 
and position it at the back over here. Something like this. Okay, then select your test tool. Then go to your test document and I'm going to copy this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the font size. Then copy this one. Now select a rectangle. Then you create a divider here. And change the color to red. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you drag it up. Bring this one over here. Then select your test to highlight it. Ctrl plus A. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase the font size. Then hold your shift key while you select it. Then Ctrl plus G to group. Then Ctrl plus A to select all. And I'm going to apply vertical alignments. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. I will increase the size. It's alright. Then now go back to your resource file and I'm going to import this icon for location and reduce the size. Okay, now right click and rasterize it. Then select your magic tool. Then click to apply. Hold your Alt key, I mean your Shift key, while you select the inner one, then you can now delete it. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation and take this one to this position to change the color background to white, then reduce the size. Then go to your test document and copy the location. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to Montserrat. Then make it semi bold and change the font color to this color over here then you can adjust it like this now reduce the font size hold your shift key or your control key to select it then you group it ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then Ctrl plus Dicto, deselect it. So over here is what you have. Now I'm going to select this design and now we increase the size like this. Then I will increase the size why i'm going to select this car over here apply layer mask then select brush and i'm going to reduce the size of this brush why i'm going to clean off this shadow over there to reduce the shadow something like this is okay 
then you can increase the size of the car now i will also group this one and uh, the test hold your shift key while you select it then ctrl plus g to group so now this is the end of the tutorial thank you so much for following if you like this video please kindly subscribe then and don't forget to share the tutorial so i really appreciate thank you